Countless events have been forced to cancel due to COVID-19, but the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, one of Memphis's marquee annual moments and one of the oldest bowls in the nation, has endured. The 62nd annual AutoZone Liberty Bowl will be held Thursday afternoon. West Virginia kicks off against Army with 12,000 fans expected to attend. Nine days ago, the AutoZone Liberty Bowl learned Tennessee had to drop out of the game due to positive COVID-19 tests within the Vols program. The game was in danger of being called off altogether. After all, 18 bowls have already had to cancel in 2020. One being the Independence Bowl, where Army was supposed to play, allowing for a perfect last-minute replacement. You know, it's really an honor just to, to have a bowl, of course, just because, you know, a lot got canceled. Uh, our, our initial bowl got canceled, and we're very fortunate that, you know, West Virginia is willing to play us. Liberty Bowl is, is a great bowl. There's been many great teams, many quality programs who've played in it, and to have uh, that spot in there as well is just uh, something that we can kind of pride ourselves in and uh, use to motivate us uh, through the preparation for this week. Usually, Bowl Week is accompanied by events, parades, and the works, but none of that this year. The Black Knights and Mountaineers with a quiet and soggy arrival just 24 hours before kickoff. Unfortunately, we won't be able to experience the city of Memphis, and our players won't be able to experience or have the full experience of a bowl, but we're looking forward just to taking the field and, uh, and playing against a quality opponent to, to finish the season. The 62nd annual AutoZone Liberty Bowl begins at 3 p.m. New Year's Eve. For Local 24 Sports, I'm Clayton Collier.